So we got the amazing new side order trailer very recently, but since then Nintendo has decided to share and recap a ton of information about side order and some of the new features, characters and more over on their Twitter account since. So I've decided to recap all of the latest news that they've shared. Now some of this information you might already remember from the original trailer, but they do share lots of new insights and there's some completely new information in here too that you might have missed. So let's check this out and make sure to leave a like on the video if you're excited. Starting us off, SRL here, researching the recent side order revelations. Agent 8 uses color chips they collect while exploring the spire of order to power up their weapons. Red color chips increase their firepower and firing rate as you can see in the action going on in this clip. So yeah, I'm showing you off the clip in the video right now. And yeah, it's really cool. It's definitely going to be important to get your hands on those red color chips so you can increase your firepower. That's definitely going to be a very important one, especially when you have absolutely massive hordes of enemies coming to attack you. That's definitely going to be one you're going to need. Moving on, research indicates that color chips are categorized under several tones. Power, support, range, mobility, lucky, and drone. Each color chip grows at different abilities. You're free to focus on strengthening one tone or try different combinations to create synergies. So this is really cool and I absolutely love the image they shared here of lots of different side order characters with their special side order weapons. It honestly looks so amazing. I love that piece of art so, so much. It's great. And it's really cool to see all the different color chips and combinations that you can make. You can really customize your experience and how you want to play this, which I think is fantastic. And of course, we do have a special one too for the Pearl drone as well, which is very similar to what we kind of had going on in the main story mode with Small Fry, I feel like. So I like that. I'm glad they've kind of continued that on here. And it's great to see so many different color chips and aesthetics with the characters as well. I particularly love the blue greeny looking ones. I think they look amazing. But overall, there's just so many great options. So yeah, I'm really excited. Moving on, Agent 8's exploring the Spire of Order via an elevator, where each floor has its own challenging objectives, difficulty, and color chip rewards. More difficult floors have better rewards, but they might not match your palette. So that's definitely an interesting one. We kind of basically knew this already, but yeah, you will have a different difficulty on each floor and you can take on different challenges. But of course, you do have to remember that if you lose one, you will go back to the start. So you're going to want to be careful with what you choose. Now, of course, you will get better rewards by facing the more difficult ones, like they say. And I do believe that when you lose, you do actually get access to some permanent upgrades as well, which we're going to get a bit into soon. So yeah, it will definitely be fun to take on the different challenges and the different difficulty levels, but it might be good to assess what your goals are so you don't, you know, take on a really hard level and then completely lose and have to start over again. Either way, I think a lot of us are going to be playing through side order a ton given the challenges that this mode will give us. So that's quite exciting. I'm glad that this DLC will have a longevity to it. On to the next video clip, SRO here to chip in with some more research on color chips. Teal color chips will boost Pearl Drone's abilities as she supports you in combat. She'll throw bombs, unleash killer whale attacks and more as you explore the Spire of Order. So I'm so glad there are some upgrades for Pearl, which I think is really cool. Again, it does kind of remind me of what we got with Small Fry, just a lot more OP, obviously. Pearl is going to need to put in a lot of work if you're going to be using her color chips. But I love the aesthetic of this one. So in a way, I'm kind of sad because I wish this was the aesthetic for one of the different chips that maybe was more, you know, geared towards our own attack. But it'll still be fun to use Pearl ones too. And I'm really glad we get that cool teal aesthetic because that has to be one of my favorite aesthetics we've seen so far in Side Order. And yeah, it will be really useful to have Pearl helping you out and doing a whole bunch of cool things. They even show you some of the special abilities she gets. They'll appear on screen and such. So there's some great UI elements as well, which will help you out and let you know exactly what is going on with Pearl. And hey, it's Pearl we're talking about. Everyone loves Pearl, so we're definitely going to upgrade her too. Moving on, an army of unusual creatures known as Gelatons call the Spire of Order home. While these ones look like fish, we've heard there are other types. They attack by whirling, bouncing, or jumping. It looks like the bones of some enemies can even be useful after they're defeated. So yeah, I've made a video about these previously, so I'm not going to go into a ton of detail here. But it's cool to see these enemies and finally get a name for them as well. They are the Gelatons. So that is a very fitting name for these fish. A lot of them have some really interesting and strange designs. Some of them do just look like straight up fish, but others are really strange. It does kind of remind me of some of the Salmon Run bosses where, yeah, maybe the lower level enemies are a bit more standard. But when you get some of the bosses and the higher leveled enemies, they are so, so weird and strange. 
And I love that about Side Order. It's just such a strange looking DLC, which is fantastic. So I'm really excited to face down against some of these enemies and also a little bit scared. Moving on to the next clip, more info from the world of order. Mobility color chips can not only increase your movement while in octoling and swim forms, but can blow enemies back on contact and fill your special meter just by moving. This one sounds really useful to me personally. I feel like this will be pretty good at taking down a lot of enemies at once, as well as escaping from enemies if you need to, which is probably gonna come up quite a fair bit. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be using this one quite a lot. I do love the aesthetic of it as well. And I can see how well it does pair with certain weapon types as well, especially the ink brush like seen here. That's gonna be really useful. And I'm sure it will be with the roller as well. So that might be one to consider for these particular weapon types. I definitely feel like I'm gonna have to use that particular color chip quite a fair bit so I can get around really fast. Like in Salmon Run, it's super satisfying to see a ton of these enemies go down at once. It really is giving me those vibes, so I'm really gonna enjoy this, I feel like, as I love Salmon Run from the very start, and I just love this roguelike gameplay. Next, it appears each floor on the Spire of Order has a different objective, such as destroying all enemy spawning portals, securing areas, guiding a ball to the goal, and moving a tower forward. Oh god, some of these are gonna drive me mad. The ball one, I'm dreading. Make sure to factor in your skills, the rewards, and the difficulty before you choose. Yeah, so I'm going to want to try everything I feel like at some point, but maybe just making it through to the top the very first time, I'm definitely going to have to ignore certain ones because that ball one, I really hope I'm not forced to do that because genuinely I'm terrible at that. Call me a noob, whatever you want, I don't care. I'm bad at that sort of thing. I'm going to be terrible. So I hope I can skip it and try some different challenges. The ones like guiding the tower and also, you know, defeating the enemies and such, that seems fairly standard. But yeah, the eight ball, oh no, I'm just having some nightmare flashbacks about that one. I'm not sure I want to go for that. Another video posted today, I believe. Outside the Spire of Order, there appear to be creatures walking about this colorless, orderly city. They don't seem interested in much, though. So we get a look at some of the creatures which are kind of lingering around the plaza. And we also get kind of a little tour of the plaza, in a sense. This is really, really cool to look at. This is probably one of my favorite videos we've seen from the DLC so far. We're really getting a better look at the world of this and some of the interesting creatures. And it makes me just feel like there's so much to this world, much more than we originally thought. Like, I thought there was going to be some sort of hub world. I mean, we basically knew there was going to be from the very start, but it feels like there's just a lot more to explore here than I was originally assuming, which has gotten me so, so excited. They also share in this tweet as well. SRL research into the Spire of Order continues. These City of Order residents appear to follow their own simple rules. Perhaps the complicated giant Spire of Order was made possible because their nature to follow rules allowed them to work together better. So yeah, definitely some very interesting and odd creatures hanging around. Unlike anything we've really ever seen before in Splatoon, they're super cool looking and... I can't wait to meet some of these characters, even though I don't think they're really going to say anything to us, you know, aside from potentially the shopkeeper, which we did see in another little screenshot posted in my video about the trailer details you missed. Finally, it appears if you're splatted while in the Spire of Order, you'll have to begin again from the bottom. Devastating to be sure, but the color chips you lost will be converted to pearls, a special currency you can use to unlock permanent upgrades in your future attempts. So yeah, it's going to be sad when you do get knocked out, but that is part of the fun and part of the challenge. And like they see here, you will be able to get some permanent upgrades, which will help a ton. So hopefully the more you get knocked up, out, you can build up a really good level of extra upgrades and such, and that'll really help us. So I'm super excited. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you did, be sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more side order coverage.